good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my brother and sister of this world. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a message, and the message is going to be coming from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. And the topic of this message is, Don't Stop Praying. Don't Stop Praying. My brother and sister, you know every good thing in life, you got to struggle, you got to work hard, you got to sacrifice. You see, I was saying that Jesus Christ, even when he was dying, and he, he knew that he was going getting ready to die, he went at the, the, the garden of Gethsemane. And he will pray. He prayed until his, his sweat turned to blood. Let me tell you, to the eyes of faith, if you read the Bible, always, all the time, Jesus Christ going to leave a disciple. While they are all sleeping, he's going to leave there and go and pray. If you know what prayers can do, Oh, you're going to get on your, you're going to be, from this day, you're going to be very basic in praying. Some of the people planning evil against you. Or you never know what's going to happen. Probably while you're driving, you don't know what's going to happen. But you got to pray before you go out. You got to pray before you do anything. You got to pray before you sleep. You got to pray before you eat. You, you got well, to pray when you come home. You got to, everything that you do, you got to pray. You get on the way, you pray. Whatever you do in your life, you're going to pray. Because if you don't pray, if God can only show you the disaster that's going to happen to you, oh, my brother, you're going you're gonna to be serious. You're going to be very energetic to continue praying. Do not be weak. Do not be tired. Do not try to apply what the Bible says from the book of Romans. Chapter 8, you know, verse 28 coming down. All things work together for good. You know, there is a spirit that is going to intercede on your behalf in a glory form. No, do not capitalize on that. You got to do a physical. Get down on your knees and pray. You know, pray to God. Because you know why? Let me give you an illustration. There was a man, God showed me this vision a long time ago. There was a man, he, you know, God blessed him, he was rich. But he, was decided, he decided to leave and he was traveling to another land. And he was traveling on the desert. So while going, he, he and his family, they would pray every night night every night they would pray but not knowing there was a an a, a armed robber group was behind them telling them because the man had a you know he was he was so worth it rich so the guys were you know following this guy they were find the rich man to kill him and take all his money but because the man was so you know Deeply rooted in the things of God, he knows that prayer is the only way to success. That man and his family, they will hold hands, they will pray, pray in the desert. And when they pray, you know, to the other thing, you know what God do? As they pray, prayer is a, is, a, is, a, is a shield. It's a shield God usually uses to protect you. But you know what God did? God protected that man with a concrete, I say, a wall. That these guys who were running behind them, to the Amro were trying to kill them and take the money. A big, long, concrete wall in the desert covered that man and his family. They couldn't see them. They couldn't get to them. They did it, they did it. So one night, and the man was so tired. He and his family were tired. They fell asleep. They never prayed. And the Amro. Then the whole group, the way they captured the man. So, when they captured the man, the man was not a friend. The man said, yeah, if you want all the money, you can have it. So the, the people refused. 
They say we want to buy that magic that you have. They may say which kind of magic? They say we have been following you long time, but every time we get close to you, we're gonna see a lot of concrete, tall concrete, cover you guys up and surround you guys. Tall concrete. We want to buy that magic. The man said, no. We don't have the magic. I don't. But every night we used to pray, but last night we were so tired. And me and my family, we didn't fall asleep in the tank. So the man went and gave their money back. And so just to, just to let you know that, that is the thing that prayers can do. God sent that fish a long time ago. And that is what prayers can do. Do you know right now some people are planning evil against you? But if you get down on your knees, you're going to scatter that the evil plan. You're going to scatter it. Nobody's going to touch you. Uh, yeah, some people have, they have that animosity. They have, you know, that grudge. They have, all oh, that bitterness. Some people have even take your knee to the voodoo man. They don't want to see you prospering. They want to see you down. They don't want for you to progress. So, my brother, you sitting there. My sister, you sitting there. Get on your knees in the night, in the afternoon, anytime. The Holy Spirit said, according to the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, pray continually. Pray continuously. Do not stop Pray. Do not be like certain group, I know religious group, they don't pray five times. No, for Christian, it's not five times, it's continuously. Anytime for me, when I go, I come in the bar from the PB in the night, I when I finish, I go down my knees and pray. If I get up again the PB again, I go down my knees and pray. Anytime when I come for work, I pray. Before I when I wake up, I have a nightmare or whatever, I have a bad day or whatsoever, I get down my knees and pray. My day will be okay. That is life. That is what God wants to see you doing. For God, for your days to be okay when you pray, God is going to defend you. Nothing going to happen to you. Whatever you want, whatever you need, your day is going to be okay. Do not forget ever pray. Pray continuously. You get to your car, you pray. You go to work, you pray. You find a closet at your wife or somewhere quiet, you pray. Last time you pray. What well, any time the Holy Spirit leave you, you pray. When the Holy Spirit says, Oh, yeah, get it ready now, put that thing down and go and pray. Go put put it down and go from the closet, the bathroom, wherever, and pray. After the Holy Spirit leave you, anywhere the Holy Spirit says, Oh, go in that closet, like that closet, pray. You don't 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 do it like the hypocrite. Don't be screaming and be yelling. No, 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 no. The Bible tells me for the book of Matthew chapter 7, God said when you press, when you pray, go and light yourself in the closet and pray, and pray silently. And the disciple asked Jesus Christ and said, how should we pray? Jesus Christ said, when you want to pray, you pray this way. Our Father who art in heaven, hello be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. And we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom, your power and your glory forever and ever. Amen. Jesus Christ said, there is the way that you should pray. You know, I know some people, you know, long time ago, yeah, when you pray warfare prayer, it's different from when you try to ask God for something or for God to protect you. That warfare prayer that no know is different. But there is how Christ said we should pray. It's easy. But if you look through the eyes of faith, oh, it's too powerful. Everything that you need from God is in that prayer. Your enemy won't try to do what away. It's in that prayer. You want money, you it's in that prayer. You want success, it's in that prayer. You want health, it's in that prayer. Everything that you need, it's in that prayer. That's why Jesus Christ told his disciples. Because they're asking, 
So master, how should we pray? And he started saying it. Our father, who are the heaven? My brother and sister, let me tell you right now. Don't overlook this. Pray continuously. For all we have the blessed assurance. We don't pray one or two times. We pray at the Holy Spirit lead. When the Holy Spirit says, oh, park your car. Park your car on the shoulder and pray. Pray and move. Because you don't know what the Holy Spirit told you to do that. You don't know. So my brother and sister, I want to encourage you. Every good thing is not easy to get. But when God sees your devotion, you see your commitment, when God sees how you know, diligent you are, God is going to give you a great reward. Your reward, people will see you. You're going to be looking to speak in Spain. You're going to be looking so terrific. When people see you, they're going to be wondering, wow, this guy, oh my God, the guys look wonderful. Because of the favor of God upon your life. Because you, when you get down on your knees and pray, my brother, that what that, that pleases the almighty God. When you get down on your knees and pray, sometimes you don't open the windows of heaven and then look down and say, yeah, you, you, you see, you see Patrick? He's committed to me. No matter the circumstances that you're going through, no matter you can be going through some hardship or whatever circumstances, but don't forget to pray. God knows. God will give you your reward. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless. And to present you for the Holy Holy, hallelujah. And to present you faultless with his only glory and with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power. Hallelujah. Now and forever, in Jesus' name. Pray. May God bless you. And I'll get back to you again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.